All right, Shalom. It's the brother Kaya from the GMS Louisiana Saints coming back at you with another quick ride and talk. Pray to get started as I always do. I like to give infinite honors and prayers to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai by Hashem Rekabadash. The honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutation to the items that's pushing the truth and sincerity. And Lord willing, this video be edifying first and foremost to the whole field. Let that's to those that cling to the body. And I won't get in that lesson today that uh, basically, you know, reinserting yourself according to the scriptures and understanding though yet we in the end, we're not at the end, all right? So there's still work to do. There's still more faith to um, compass your about. And ultimately, man, we can't get ahead of ourselves, you know, with certain things just saying, hey, this the end. So we just gonna do this and do that. Now, nah, we still gotta be in season. You know, we gotta understand that we gotta take day by day, hour by hour, minute by minute, you know? And we still gotta understand we're at the end. I mean, we're 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 in the end. We're not at the end, all right? Because we haven't been called up. Brothers haven't, you know, raised up with spiritual powers, ultimately, right? So it's context clues to show us, like, y'all not there yet, so we still have a course to finish, all right? So until our lives are laid down, man, we got to be in that awareness, okay, to understand, like, all right, we still got to, you know, go preach and teach. We still got to be patient. We still got to endure. Right, Cause I got a saying down here that I always say, like, man, pray, you know, to stop going on a block and teach, because then the wind's gonna be let loose and destruction shall come. But understanding this, that the destruction I am, so we still gotta preach and teach, man. You see, we still gotta preach and teach, man. So it's, you know, just one day at a time. Ultimately, I'm bringing the scripture. Out. It's Jeremiah eight. Just to go into what I'm saying, all right. And uh, 20, it says, the harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved, you know? And when you go on the Song of Solomon, it said, the winter, the, it, you know, the winter, the winter is gone, and the summer is not, or the fall, you know, which goes to show you, like, we're transitioning from seasons, all right? But we, we're in our seasons of our little sanctuary, which is the tabernacle of the Lord, and where we're saying, uh, uh, and where we're saying prophecy, the phases of prophecy unfold, but we still have to understand we still got work to do. We still working. We still working the work because it, uh, it is day still, all right? It's not night where no man can work it, you see? So we still gotta have humility. We still gotta, you know, we're fishing. We still fishing, man, all right? So all is not all yet, man. You know, everything hasn't haven't been fulfilled, all right? So we are still fishers, right? There's a time when we will be hunters, and we, and what we do, we pray for those times. That's why the Lord say, pray for shorter days. But even if we pray for shorter days, we still gotta get to the shorter days. The time have to be short, man. And remember that the Lord doesn't alter or move on um, the set times, or mess, you know, the set times until all things be fulfilled. All right, He don't move nor start the times. All right. So enjoy and understand the time that you're in, all right, because obviously it's to still fulfill the work of the Lord, all right? It says to be still, all right, and do the work of the Lord, you know? I think it's in Psalms. In Psalms 4 and 4 says, Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed. Yeah, have union with your own heart upon your bed and be still. All right? It says, Be quiet and do thy work. All right? Because it's a time where we're going to get loud with this thing, man. All right? You're going you gonna to hear the rumblings of uh, fire and brimstone all over this place. You're going to hear, you know, walls and gunshots and Missiles being let off, all right, it's gonna have a time where it get loud, all right, but we have to be quiet and handle our business, man, all right? Let's see where that's at. <laughs> that is Proverbs 1 and 33, it says, but whosoever Hawking it unto me shall dwell safely. See, we hawking it unto the Lord. We girding ourselves up with wisdom, knowledge, 
you know, an understanding for stability in those times. All right. You know, and it says, and shall be quiet from the fear of evil. See, the fear of evil is going to make noise, man. All right. And I know I'm using it in a terminology to, well, you know, it's, you know, I'm, I'm comparing noise to being quiet. And that's the way that we should be working. We should be working with our heads down, keeping our hands on the plow, handling business, doing what we're supposed to do. All right. And then it's going to be a season for us to move around. Oh, this is a good one. This is a rock, four and six. It says, better is the hand full with quietness than both the hands full with travail and vexation of spirit. Woo! Woo! Fire, man. All right? You know? I'll read one up. It says... The fool folded his hands together and eaten his own flesh because he becomes slothful, man. He go to pouting in his, you know, in his walking, you know, not under, well, Lord, how long? Like, what you doing? You know, you start to question on the Lord. Well, fool does, all right? But we believe in what the Lord said in the word of the Lord. And that that keep us humble. That keep us patient, all right? Suffering, right? Because really we suffering for righteousness sake, so it's really not suffering. When you suffer as a nigga or a fool, then you suffering, man. But it says again, it says the fool folded his hands together and eating his own flesh. Yeah, it says the slothfulness of the foolish killing him. You know, we not slothful. We still working. Even though we know, all right, you know, the day is nigh. It's right there, man. All right. It says better is a handful with quietness. You know, because our hands are full and we are being quiet. We are being still waiting on the Lord, man. Meaning what? We're walking humbly with our power. We serving, you know, we serving the brotherhood, right? Living up, walking the gospel because we preaching it. As Paul said, they that preach the gospel shall also live of it. All right. And just waiting for the time, man. It says, better is the handful with quietness. You know, having this work and being quiet, right? Uh, You know, not being Clark Kent, you know? In the spirit when it's time and then you know you gotta you gotta you know take your uniform you know you gotta put your club kin on man you know you can't be a superhero in this thing man it says then both the hands fall with travail and vexation of spirit see we not travailing and having a vexation of spirit man hey they got gonna tell me what to pull up all right so so you know and that pretty much was the point. You know, I just want to admonish brothers, you know, and let them know, like, look, the, 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 the course is not finished, all right? Our trials, you know, we still in the, you know, in our trials, we still getting tempted, not above that we are able, right? You know, the temptation still coming. We still in the flesh, all right? We still have ailments, all right? And we, we just not there yet, all right? And the Lord say, let today take care of today. For tomorrow, we, you know, we know nothing of for us as a vapor. All right? So we got to remain within the day. All right? But pray that the Lord continue for us to walk in his, in his righteousness and walk into the kingdom of heaven that we may receive our crowns. So I've been right to Zion. It was that a fine man. Until the next time, I'm going to see Shalom.